It's 11 o'clock and Paul is preparing dishes at his small vegetarian restaurant in The Hague. You see that? I can make it. You see, I have chicken. I have a little oil in my pan and I'm going to heat everything up. But the chicken Paul's talking about is actually 100% vegetable matter. This succulent breast is made from a soya base. Mm. It's like a shopper. It's crunchy, like the skin on a chicken thigh. It's like chicken but juicier. When you buy chicken at the supermarket, when you cook it, you often find these dry filaments. And you think, ah, it still needs a little sauce on it if it's going to taste right. Hamburgers, meatballs, beef. The vegetarian butcher offers a wide range of choice cuts. And the flavours are not far from the real thing. Thanks to techniques developed in a Dutch university, the restaurant can reproduce meaty fibres using a machine which compresses a paste obtained from soybeans. The other ingredients vary according to the type of meat substitute required. Beef, for example, is made with carrots, peas and potatoes. The chicken we produce only needs around a third or a half of the resources required to produce real chicken. And I'm talking here mainly about the use of land, water consumption, the grains and beans which chickens usually eat. If you look at the beef, the difference is even more pronounced. We only need one-seventh. I come here because at the work canteen, sometimes we're lucky, but generally what they offer isn't great. And the products they have here have been developed sustainably, and that appeals to me a lot. From vegetarian steak to the recent creation of the first in vitro burger made from cow stem cells, some meat producers aren't happy at the blurring of the lines between real meat and substitutes. Consumers should eat what they like. And if they want to eat vegetarian, we don't have any problem with that. What is a problem for us, though, and we've complained regularly about this, is the use of terminology that belongs to meat. We think it's a shame that people who sell vegetarian products seem to need to use classic meat names in order to get people to buy them. After just three years in business, products from the vegetarian butcher can be bought at more than 500 locations across the Netherlands. Sales have doubled every year and the brand has ambitious expansion plans. By getting a greater share of the market, it also hopes to be able to lower its prices. At the moment, its chicken costs the same as a real organic one.